Good evening, I'm Bill Mazur. Last night, I told you that the New York Knicks were going to have a major news conference at noon today. I mentioned it would probably be the coming of Marvin Webster. Well, promptly at noon, at the Gardens Hall of Fame room, Sonny Werblin spoke. Oh, all know the reason we're here, which is to announce the signing of Marvin Webster with the New York Knickerbockers. Marvin, you weren't able to do with Seattle last year. You've got better horses here in New York. Will you win the whole thing this year? Well, I feel like uh, this, regardless of what team you're on, if you got the guys that are willing to go out there and win a, a ball game, had the coaches going in the right direction, and you give it 100%, I feel like uh, you got the capabil capabilities to uh, go all the way. But you have no regrets about Seattle, no matter of conscience or anything like that. Well, I couldn't say that because, uh, you know, you, I was in a place for a year, you get attached to the place, you get attached to the people, and you have a lot of uh, friends there, and it's just hard to, you know, to say no uh, to them. And But it's come a time in your life when you have to uh, make a decision which you don't uh, uh, have no regrets from making it, but you have to do it, you know, because, uh, because it's the right thing, you feel it's the right thing to do. Would you rather have had Walton? No. Uh, frankly, uh, Webster's been our number one choice all of the time, uh, perhaps because of the fact that we knew that he was a free agent and that we could negotiate with him. But there's a great deal of difference in the uh, time availability, too, because I frankly don't think that uh, uh, Walton will be playing the early part of the season. And that is the story in this framework of time. Tomorrow or the day after or some day after, we will learn who the Knicks will have to give up for Webster. Now, the conjecture is that it will be Lonnie Shelton. I think Seattle is crazy if they don't try to get Bob McAdoo. Now back to baseball. The Yankees hosted California again tonight. They had a 3-2 to two lead with two out in the top half of the ninth inning when Sparky Lyle gave Joe Re Rudy the kind of pitch he couldn't turn down. He hit it in the right field seats. It tied the game at three, and that's the way she stands right now in the top of the 11th inning. Don't turn. Boston 10, Seattle 5. That's in the eighth inning of play. These are finals now. Baltimore beat Oakland 6-2. Milwaukee beat Cleveland 6-0. Detroit beat Minnesota 42. Uh, Carew and Hitless in four at-bats. Chicago 5-1 over Kansas City in the seventh. Toronto 3-0 over Texas in the fifth.